people of this fine country. I, Paul Revere, was born on January 1st, 1735, in Boston, Massachusetts. I lived there mostly all my life. Boston was a very busy city in my day. There were always ships coming in and out delivering cargo. All my life, I learned there was more to do than those hours in a day. When I was 15, my father died, so I had to take over his silversmithing business. I made almost everything. To make extra money, I took a job ringing church bells, and that was a lot of work because church bells were rung very often. Then I heard about a war. The French were invading, so I decided to spy on them. But during the summer, I didn't see any French soldiers, so I knew they had stopped bothering us. But then I saw the British slapping taxes on everything. When they finally did remove taxes, the one thing they would not remove it on was tea. Do you want to know what I did about that? The other Sons of Liberty, which included John Hancock and Samuel Adams, and I dumped a whole boatload of tea into the Boston Harbor on December 16, 1773. This act was called the Boston Tea Party. While the other sons went home, I had to go spread the news from Philadelphia to New York. I was back on the 11th day, long before anybody expected me, thus becoming Massachusetts' number one express rider. Um, one day, when I was spying on the British, I heard about a plan to attack Concord and Lexington secretly. So, William Daw, Samuel Prescott, and I silently rode across the Charlestown Bay to, and rode into Lexington warning people of the British soldiers. I also warned two Patriot leaders, John Hancock and Samuel Adams. Um, well, on my way to Concord, six British officers questioned me and took my horse. Sadly, I walked back to Concord, I mean Lexington, to see if John and Sam were still there. Fortunately, they were just about to leave. I joined them. Um, after some time, John Hancock said he had left some important papers and didn't want the British soldiers to find them. So John Lowell, John Hancock's butler, and I went back to Lexington and returned the papers. Ever since then, I told everybody I could about my ride, especially my grandchildren.